Welcome back guys to Kids Coding Playground here. Today we'll be doing a new Python project on our channel. So we haven't done a Python video in a while, so we're going to be making a dice simulator on Python. So I'll be showing you guys two different ways to make this Python uh, dice simulator and one way in Scratch how to do it. So like I'll show you how it's similar to the one in Python. We've also made a dice simulator on Scratch as well, so if you want to check that out, then you can check that out on our channel. And without further ado, let's start a new project. So click File, New Project. Right here, we have a new project, right? So we're going to rename it. So if you don't uh, don't know how to do this, like starting a new project and like setting up Python, um, you should watch our beginner tutorial on Python. We have like how to set up PyCharm and all that stuff. So you can check that out if you are new to Python. Okay, so we're going to name our project. I'm going to name it Dice Simulator. Simulator for video because I already have a project named Dice Simulator, so it would like kind of mess it up, so it can't be the same thing. We're going to create it, and then I'm just going to put it as this window. Right here we have our project, it's starting up. Alright, so it's now started up. We're going to just right-click on this folder right here, click New, uh, New, and then we're going to click Python File. And then we're going to name the Python file, we can name that Dice Simulator. So we're going to click OK, and there we have our Python simulator, and we can type inside this area. So the first way we're going to do it is like it's going to detect if you say yes or no. So it's kind of like a repeat until loop in Scratch. And the second one is more of like a forever loop. So we're going to start out with uh, importing some uh, library. So we're going to import the library random. So we're going to import, so you have import right here, import random. So that's what we're going to do that. And then we're going to go down one, and then we're going to do define two variables, one named min. Min is the minimum on a dice. You know how a dice has six sides. So the minimum is one, and the max should be six. So we have our two variables right there. And then we're going to define one more variable. We're going to name it roll again, and then underscore again, and then we're going to make it equal, and then yes. So we have the roll again. And then right here, we have down here, we're going to make a while loop, so we're going to do while roll again is double, two equal signs means basically if something is equal to another. So it's kind of like, you know, the or, like something is equal to or equal to in scratch, so that's what it is. So we're going to do equal, and so yeah, roll again is equal to yes, or we're going to do roll again is equal to uh, y, we're going to do y. So Basically, you know how sometimes you can just type Y or yes, same thing. Put a colon at the end, and then enter. It should be indented, so it has to be indented to be inside the loop. And then we're going to do print, and then we're going to print, put a uh, parentheses. I'm going to just say rolling the dices. Rolling the dices. And then we're going to enter one more line down, and then print. Print, and then we're going to say the value are the values are values are and dot 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 so that's like it's going to tell what the values are and then after that it's going to print what the values will be so you're going to be rolling two dices so you can do one if you want but we're going to be doing two so print random dot rand int random dot rand int and then we're going to do uh, parentheses and then min and then comma max so this is basically getting the numbers, so you're going to pick a random number from 1 to 6, min is 1, max is 6. And then we're also going to get the same thing, so we can just copy paste it. So we're just going to copy, uh, enter one line down, and we have we just have to do it twice because we're doing two dices. And then we're going to go down uh, two more lines, So and we're going to do roll, oh, roll again, we can just do that. Roll again is equal to input. Input, so input, uh, roll the dices again. So input, sorry, accidentally misspelled it. Input, roll the dices again. So this is to ask, confirm the player they want to roll again or not. So right here, and it has to be inside the while loop or else um, it's going to be like, um, go forever. So we have to keep it inside the while. Let me delete this blank indent. Okay, so now we have our thing. So basically, if you put this outside, it will just keep on running forever. And right here, it's only going to happen if this is happening. So while this is happening, this is going to run. So we're going to run the project. So we're going to click run right here. 
and then we'll click dice simulator. So the first time you run it, you have to do that. So as you can see, it says rolling the dice, the values are five and six. So those are the two random values you just got. So let's say you want to roll again, you click yes, it will roll a one and five. What if you put Y? As you can see, it is working. So you can see the numbers are random and they're and it's working. So let's say uh, let's say you want to stop it. So you just click uh, type in no, sorry, and then it'll say process finished. So that means it's ended the code. So you ended it, you ended the process, and I'll show you guys if you just don't put this in the while loop, this is what will happen. So we're gonna run run dice simulator. See, as you can see, it just keeps on going. So we don't want that. We want to confirm with the user if they want to roll again or not. So we do not want to have it going on forever. So just tab it and it has to be inside this loop. So this is the first way to make it. I'm going to comment out all of this code so I can show you guys the second one. So you can just do control slash, it'll comment out everything right here. As you can see. So our second way we can do this, and we're gonna make it like a forever loop and scratch. So we're gonna do while, while uh, one is equal to one. So that's basically means you know one is always equal to one. So this is basically a forever loop. So we're gonna print if print, and we're gonna do rolling the dice. We can just copy this right here. So we're just gonna copy this code right here. Right here. And we just get rid of this. There you go. Oops. Backspace this right here. Okay, so now it's in the same one. So prints rolling the dices and the values are, and then we can also just copy this. And instead, right here, we're gonna put one and six because we don't have the variables defined. So we're gonna copy this one line, copy, and then we're gonna go paste it in here. So instead of using the variables, because we we're not using them here, we're going to use one and six. It's basically the same thing, uh, except you're just using the numbers as substitute to the variables. And then we can just copy this one more time. So now we have our two uh, prints for the random numbers, and right here is the printing for the instructions. And then right here, we can take the roll again. Right here, we'll just copy that. And then we're going to go down and then roll again is equal to the inputs roll the dices again so that's what we're going to make it say that and then right here we're going to do a break so basically this is like a stop the scripts thing so basically if the player says n or no it's going to stop the script so as you can see this is like the inverse of this one this one's like saying uh if you want to roll again then you put yes this one's going to say um if you if you want to stop the script then you say no so that's it's pretty, it does the same thing, but it's written in, diff in a different way. So we're going to do if roll again is equal to n or roll again is equal to uh, no. So if it's equal to that, then we will say break and it should work. So right here, uh, no new line. Oops, I think I might have put a new line or something. So, okay. Delete that. Okay, there you go. Um, so now we have this. Let's test it out. So we're going to click run. Run dice simulator. See, as you can see, it rolls the two and six. So roll the dice again. You say yes. It'll also do that. Y. So anything but no it, or n, it will roll again. This one, anything uh, but yes or y, it won't run again. So that's kind of like the opposite. And next, we can just put no or end, so it says the process is finished. So here we have our two simple ways of making um, the dice simulator in Python. And then I'm going to do a side-by-side -side comparison on Scratch. So let me move Scratch on this side. So here we have our Scratch project. Uh, let me make it smaller. OK. So here we have our side-by-side -side comparison. Um, Right here, when green flag clicked, set roll again to yes. So this is more of like this line instead of this line. So we're going to set the roll again to yes. So that's basically right here, you're setting the variable. And then forever loop, this is like the uh, while one is equal to one, that's the forever loop. So all this is in the forever loop. We're going to print the random number one to six, one to six, like that. And then we're going to set the roll dice to, and then we're going to ask roll dices again. Right here, you see, we ask the question, and then we're going to set this variable to the answer. 
And down here is the same thing as this one. If the role again is equal to no or n, then it's going to stop all. So this code is the same as this one. So you can see that Scratch is very similar to this one. And I'll show you guys that I go full screen. Uh, let's go full here. So maybe, maybe do this. All right, so I play it. So you see, it says the two random numbers are one and two. So if you say yes, it will say one and four. So if you say no, it will stop the scripts. You can do stop all because this is just one sprite, but if you want to be more specific, then stop the script would work as well. Okay, so that is pretty much it for this tutorial on Python, on how to make a dice simulator. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, and ring the notification bell. And I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.